Hello everyone, Olivia Jun is here. So it's been for a while and today I'm about to post special statistics theme video where we're going to talk about special autocorrelation. We will conduct tests for special autocorrelation using two applications named Geoda and also ArcMap. And for uh, the data that we exemplify about is this an Indonesian everyday money index from 2017 in Java form. So uh, for the first one, we're going to use Geoda for the example. Talk about Eudai Mon Index itself it is actually one of the index from Human Happiness Index, which specifically informs about level of the self acceptance as human, typically per province in this data. We will first examine, uh, examine the data generally to determine if Eudai Mon Index is clustered or dispersed in Indonesia, and then we will run local statistical tests to see where clusters exist. And we will use the more inside test for uh, for it and then first of all we need to create a special weight matrix that is actually is a way for numeric numerically uh, re represent neighboring uh, relationships and can be based on contiguity distance or the number of neighbors so uh, we can create a special weight matrix while running a tool or before we begin an analysis but Right now, we will just create a weight matrix instead to prepare for our special correlation analysis. First, of course, you need to open the application first, since we're gonna demonstrate the geode application. And uh, the display would be like this for the newest release, uh, release series. And we can input the Eudaimonia index file by clicking this icon because we're going to use the shape file data uh, we can choose the s3 shape file thing in here and here's the data that we're going to use about eudaimonia index and then we can click open okay once our data appeared uh, we can open and check the table data by clicking this uh, menu the table button here you can see uh, the Eudaimonia index value that we are going to process about. Here, I type it here as EUID, EUID underscore ID. And then after we check it, we can also, uh, we may click the weight manager button here with the weight manager button and create the weight file by uh, click the create menu. Here in select ID variable, we have to choose the poly underscore ID. And then uh, we can choose uh, the rock contiguity option. And then we can click create. Uh, we have to save it first uh, to one folder on the desktop. And so we are not going to lose the data that we are pers uh, processing about here because I have uh, done several research about it you can also see that the example of the files that I have done for so for the file name I'm just going to put the three number uh, behind it and then click save just okay and then we can exit from this menu well here you may questioning what is a uh, contiguity right what neighbors are included in this matrix so basically any index tracks that share a border but not vertice uh, vertice with each other are actually neighbors well to learn more about the neighbors uh, let's create a weight neighbor histogram and you can choose this menu histogram right and then uh, by clicking on the weight neighbor histogram you can see the number of neighbors and the frequency of it here the frequency of it and this side is the number of neighbors and the selected bar from the histogram this is for example uh, will show the corresponding polygons highlighted on the map like uh, if we click this one it will uh, appear it will show the corresponding uh, different corresponding polygons and so is with the other values Okay, and then by clicking the connectivity map, uh, 
you will be able to track which area can be connected with the main area that you observe about. For example, we're going to uh, we're going to choose the middle in Borneo Island. So here, here's uh, the white part is actually the other area that you can connect it with uh, the area that you can connect with the main area that you choose about. So it's with Aceh, for example, in Sumatra, it can be connected with North Sumatra, and so it's with uh, West Sumatra, it can be connected with uh, North Sumatra, Riau, or Kulu, and then and then uh, Sumatra. Okay, by and also by clicking the connectivity graph, uh, it is actually just the same with the connective uh, connectivity map before, but only with completed uh, only completed with uh, the flow shading of its connectivity. Here, if you can see, there is several uh, lines above the area, like. Uh, that shown where is actually the area that can be connected with the main area that we choose about. For example, here is the North Sumatra part. It shows uh, three lines that are actually connected with uh, Aceh, with West Sumatra, and also Riau. And so it's with uh, the other area in this map that we are using about. Okay, and then let's move on to univariate Morin's eye test. Uh, basically, univariate Morin's eye test is a global statistic that tells us whether there is a clustering or dispersion, but it doesn't inform you the location itself. Okay, but for example, we can click the Morin's, uh, Morin's eye scatter plot here, uh, and then we can choose univariate Morin's eye because this is, uh, this is the one that we're going to exemplify about. And for the variable settings, uh, we can choose uh, the eudaimonia index that I type as eu underscore id here, as what I told you before, and then we can click OK. Here you can see, uh, here you can see the variable itself. Uh, the Morin scatter plot result with the a value that uh, displayed on the top of it, and then the slope of the line that is actually the Morin's eye. About the value itself, since uh, it is positive, there is an overall pattern of clustering of eudaimonia index values. It is actually when it is quite uh, close to one. It could indicating the values are highly clustered, and, and so is vice versa. To see the cluster map of our data, we can choose. Uh, we can select the cluster map uh, menu here, the cluster maps menu, and then choose the univariate local Morin's eye. And then we can click U underscore ID as a variable, and then click OK. For uh, the windows can also be set with what kind of information we can see about. In this case, I'll just uh, select all, for example. Here, I'm, I'm going to choose the significance map, cluster maps, and also the more scatter plot, and then click OK. Here, uh, we can see the significant map information. Here is the significant map information with some values about it. And then, uh, the Lisa cluster map with uh, the high high or low 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 high and high low uh, cluster from the data that we are that we uh, operate about, and then for the last one, the scatter plot is the same as the Morin's uh, as the Morin's scatter plot that we uh, conducted before. For more information, uh, you can also set the information in the form of histogram. Here, for example, with the variable of eudaimonia index, that if we choose some values about it from eudaimonia index, uh, we can see the frequency of it uh, from the layer, from the map layer on the screen. Here, for example, for another example, you're going to see uh, the values between 73.8 to 70. 5.1 and so is with 75.1 to 76.4 here you go 
so this is so this two appeared in the map screen and and then for more information also about it you can also choose this box plot it is just the same as before but with different style of a uh, scatter plot like here you can see the chosen uh, area that we select in this plot and you can also see the minimal I mean the minimum value of the data, the eudaimonia index uh, that we add about and then the maximum one, the median one and also even the mean of it. Okay, after we talk about the geoda, I think it's enough. We're going to move out to the arc map. Here you can see that I have opened the application before we will examine uh, the same data generally to determine if the eudaimonia index is clustered or dispersed in indonesia then we will run the local statistical test to see where the cluster exists in our map itself uh, we will use the jetis or, or test of course for the first step we have to add the data here is the eudaimonia index that uh, just the same with what we used in Jura before and then we can just click add. after the data uh, appeared in the screen uh, we can open the toolbox and go to the special statistic uh, tools here is the to uh, our toolbox here uh, we can choose the special statistics tools and then uh, after we got in here we'll use the analyzing patterns analyzing patterns with high or low clustering or jetis or general g and we can just click the menu and then we can input a feature class uh, with the data that we're going to process about eudaimonia index and then for the input in file uh, we're going to choose the EU underscore ID and then we can click the generate report and so we can see uh, how the generate uh, result after this and then for the conceptualization of special relationships uh, we're just going to choose the inverse distance and so just will let it be as before in here like standardization we'll just let it be no one and the distance method it will be equivalent distance and so on and then we can just click ok so once the test has finished running oh uh, we can click the geoprocessing menu here up here and then we can choose the results menu and here we can see the current session that we are uh, do, uh, have done before with high or low clustering that is or general g with our data here we can see the report file general uh, result in html um, file uh, here's also some you can see uh, the when we click the report file, it will, be, uh, it will be generate the general result. Uh, here you can see the p value and also the z score from the observed general g uh, of the data. And then here's also some general g summary and also the data set information itself here. And also to learn more about where eudaimonia index uh, values are clustered calculate uh, we can calculate a local version of the g-score uh, that we calculated earlier like uh, we can choose the art toolbox here is the mapping clusters and in the mapping clusters uh, we can select uh, the uh, hotspot analysis or jetis or d here for the input feature class we are just going to use the eudaimonia index as before uh, we use the same inputs as uh, we did for the local morons i test and 
we can save uh, the output. I mean, sorry for the input field itself. We use the EU ID and then we can save the output feature class to a folder or I'll just let it be in C, uh, C folder type. And, uh, and then we can just click OK. So here's the final result of our Eudaimonia Index Hotspot that you can see here uh, the colors of colors, uh, the cold spot, I mean, with 99% uh, confidence and then cold, uh, cold spot that is actually hotter than 4, of course, uh, with 79, I mean, with 95% confidence and then uh, still cold spot uh, with 90% confidence and then not significant and here we go the hot spot of 90% confidence 95% confidence and so is 99% uh, of confidence here so maybe that's all about our practice today all about special autocorrelation using uh, geoda and also arcmap hopefully you guys can get some some sort of new knowledge about it and uh and see you guys for the next video